what is on my iPhone in three, two, one. So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to what is on my iPhone for the month of October 2016. Now I know a lot of you are going to say, why did you do that? But I went ahead and traded the iPhone SE for the iPhone 6 Plus and that's due to the nature of everything I was doing on my phone when I was out was getting a little bit cramped on the iPhone SE. So I went ahead and traded to the bigger iPhone which does retain the 3.5 millimeter headset jack and it also features 3D touch which the SE did not feature and after using the iPhone 7 review unit which I no longer have on the channel I did like that 3D touch feature but anyway as you can see the iPhone 6s plus is monster just like my hands and I think we do have a match for my hand size now with the iPhone 6s plus but we are rocking out with 10.0.1 here I will update to iOS 10.0.2 in a future video so taking a look around the iPhone 6s plus you can see I do have a clear case which I am rocking out and I do have the iOS 9 wallpaper currently I kind of like that one it has that kind of skin tone fingerprint thing behind the applications and you do see that I do keep my applications organized but let's hop into the first folder where I keep FaceTime and messages under communications the second folder I do have extras where I keep several Apple extras there and then the next applications I do have is my health apps is think up headspace and calm all for meditation affirmations and getting calm so you can check those three out if you would like as well under tech news I do keep a Pi geek and CNET moving on to the next set of applications I do have I do keep my finances where I do keep PayPal chase MB sales tax calculator expensify for tracking receipts and straight talk for phone you might have different banks yourself and in my next folder I do have note taking where I do have Evernote but I do keep Google keep at the dock for quick access because I use it a little bit more and I do have this days counter app which allows you to keep track of your goals if you guys need something to keep track of your goals check out this days counter app on your device now I do have the YouTube application folder where I keep YouTube and YouTube studio for replying to your guys's comments on the go over here I do keep Google where I keep Google Docs Gmail, Google Maps, Google Drive, Zillow, and this awesome new application, Google Trips, which allows you to have great planning when you're going on trips around the world. Over here on social media, I do keep Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. You can follow me on all of those. Links will be down below in the description of this video. Education, I do keep Kindle, Udemy for taking online courses, podcasts, and iBooks. Now, hopping over into this next folder, I do like to keep my online shopping, which is going to be eBay, Amazon, Best Buy, and Groupon. Groupon for coupons, and eBay, Amazon, and Best Buy. You all know what those are already, and if you don't, uh, you're probably living under a rock. But over here, we have music folder where I do have Spotify as well as my classical music application there and this is where it really gets heavy in my creative bench i do like to keep lightroom pixlr express photoshop express whiteboard pick joiner and i want to show you this whiteboard application is basically you can jot down notes really quickly and i really love this if you're trying to show something visually to your friends you can see i have great handwriting right there but you can see i do have pick joiner there iMovie application, Zedge for wallpapers, and InShot for cropping videos. Under tech tools, I do like to keep Speed Test, Lyrium Info, Geekbench, News, and Safari, or that is Firefox. But I do have the N66 AP, so I did get the yucky Samsung processor in this iPhone 6S Plus. I say that because it has a little bit worse battery life than the TSMC model. Under games, I do keep Tempo Run as well as Racing Car. A little weak games, but I'm not really a heavy gamer here. Under utilities, I do like to keep ADT calculator and my printer application for HP all-in-one printer app there. And on the dock, you can see just phone, Safari, Google Keep, as well as camera. And on the home screen, I just keep a few Apple applications, nothing too impressive. But the iPhone 6S Plus has been pretty heavy in my experience with pretty thick bezels, but that's pretty much my only minor gripes with the iPhone 6S Plus. Really huge device and it's ergonomically really big. It's bigger than most big Android phones. So if you want a giant, giant phone, but you don't like small iPhones, this might be the phone for you. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Leave your comments, share your apps down below, leave this video a thumbs up, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.